and then hey wahala wahala day wahala day the IPO is near, and I'm now a majority shareholder. Were you sent by the devil or something? I think we all need to relax a little bit. Obviously, we're one big family. I'm your brother, you're my sister. I'm not your sister. <laughs> Hi, people. Welcome to yet another amazing time with me. My name is Shacha Wabara. This is your first time here, what we do here at Movie Reviews. And if that's what you're looking for, hit on the subscribe button to turn off your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come out, yeah? Busy returning viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for doing this with me. This is wishing you all a happy happy new year welcome to the year 2022 and with that let's go into the movie of the day today we'll be reviewing the movie chief daddy to going for broke it is showing on netflix and <laughs> um while i was watching the movie i had you know a lot of thoughts were just running through my head it's a movie that premiered this year 2022 on netflix I'll see you on the other side after the highlights of the movie. Yeah, thank you. You know, what's wrong with you people? And which has to go. Go as in that. As long as she's alive, we are all going to be broke. You treated us like strangers. Now you want us to work together with you. Oh, keep fighting amongst ourselves and lose everything. We're still all going to die of hunger. I want a respectable birthday. There's no much money in this event. <laughs> Choo-choo, <laughs> budget down. We realize that we cannot do without you. Dummy Badger, huge fan. What if your do-gooder football superstar boyfriend is two-timing you? First of all, there was no kiss. Dummy, I'm not going to marry a liar. It's like a peck. Nothing Dummy. happened. But you still can't hey! check to me. Because that big money family. Big money family. Yeah, baby. Get out of my studio, you babe. Do I don't know what you're talking about. You you know you could go to prison for domestic violence. The Big Crop family is broke, y'all. My daughter is just doing her job. I think she does sue. No one is suing anyone today. I'm your biggest fan, bro. How do you get from down here to up there, man? I cash my chips and I went to Dubai, fam. Dubai. Follow me, let's go. Are you sure about the number of zeros? Yes. We're on tour. This is what rappers do when they're on tour. Chief Daddy 2 is a movie that had me rolling, <laughs> had me laughing, had me very, very angry in the sense that, you know, when you're placed on a pedestal, you know, you place something on a pedestal, it's so painful and really annoying to watch that thing just fall when you least expect it. Now, a few years ago, I had this running argument on What's it called? Yeah, wedding party. I kept telling people that wedding party was nothing to write home about. Chief Daddy was nothing to write home about. And a lot of people disagreed with me. So I really had this manic joy watching this movie. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go into the movie in proper. This movie has notable actors and actresses. It's like it was star studded ebony films brought in everybody more abudu she's really good at that she'll bring in all the stars and all the stars you know really want to grace her movies so the actors and actresses that we have here are Thomas Ejio for Inkem Owo, Dakakore Ebosun, Patience Ozokwo, Joker Silva, Fouls the Bad Guy, Funke Akindele, Rachel Oniga of Blessed Memory, Bevne Naya, Beverly Osu, Chine Du, Kate Enshaw, Mauli Gavo, Shafi Bello, Uzo Arukwe, Zena Balogo, Broshagi, Rahama Sadao. I hope I have it right. And this movie has to do with a continuation from first chief daddy now you would expect that something will make sense because at the end of the movie there was this lady that drove to the gate to chief daddy's gate i think in a bentley and was just walking around purposefully so the beginning of this movie started with a cacophony of sounds and scenes that made no sense but was calculated to bring the audience to speed that i understand sorry about the noise but i'm just going to move ahead now the story made no sense 
if in chief daddy one you were saying that after some time or what 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 you get the money and all that and then chief daddy to there's someone that is coming up to say she's not going to let them get as much money how did that flow how did that go because i do not understand there was no introduction of Ama Sadao and in Chief Daddy 2 was seeing her. Okay, fine and good, no problem. But what the hell kind of thing happened in Chief Daddy 2? I'm not even going to go into the synopsis. I'm just going to go into the performances and the different scenes I was seeing there. There was an introduction of new faces like Uzo Arukwe and Broshagi and this Rahama Sadao. Okay, fine and good. But what, what was the role of Uzo Arukwe in, in this Chief Daddy 2? Okay, he's an assistant to Rahama and then um, and then what? And then what? He's the sugar daddy or the what 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 of Kate Enshaw and Funke Akindele. But pretty what, what was Funke Akindele thinking? What was Kate Enshaw thinking? In you know, taking up these roles, these annoying stupid roles that they took up in Chief Daddy 2. Now these are excellent actors, these are excellent actresses that are established they have good foundation in the nollywood industry and then more abudu is calling you in to do what to act what to start in you know what role and how even when you are giving the script to you know act out and like they're saying this is what you're going to do and this is what you're going to do you just you know took it in hook line and sinker without like questioning the producer or the director like what, what am i supposed to be doing here they actually accepted it like what is actually going on like i just kept on looking at it i i was thinking you know, more about this, she's fond of most times taking people for granted just because a lot of people accepted wedding party and chief daddy. She just felt like you know, bringing it in like that, bringing this chief daddy in. You'll be shocked about the amount of money that was invested in this because she's very, very good at throwing in a lot of money into the production of her movies to make it look rich in terms of the cinematography. You would have no issues at all. But then the storyline leaves so much to, to be desired. Like you would just wonder where are we going to? At the end of 2021, we thought that, you know, we had established ourselves. The entertainment industry in the world, looking at Korean entertainment industry, Hollywood and the likes of them, you will see that a lot of a lot of work is being put into the performance of the actors and the actresses. A lot of actors and actresses are actually choosing their roles these days. You don't just start in any movie just for you to be seen or just to get a few wants of cash and all of that. But the most annoying thing was that notable actors and actresses start in this movie and I cannot believe it. Is it? Yeah. Maoli Gavo and Beverly Naya's performance, their romance together, their story was okay, acceptable. On an EFI, okay, fine and good. The performance of Dr. Silva was just, was okay. Okay, on your iffy too. No one brought out that performance that they were supposed to bring out, that brilliance they were supposed to bring out. The plot was nothing to write home about anyway. And then we have Faust the bad guy. He tried. It's like he was he kept on running from back to front, you know, trying to outdo himself, trying to go over and beyond. Make up for maybe the inadequacies of you know his colleagues i don't know but everything was just a sham well it was a shit show it was annoying it was annoying i don't have any problem with the cinematography the lighting the sounds the positioning of the camera yeah the locations that were used those ones were top notch they really chose it properly the the homework was done there and all that but what was what was broshagi doing anyway broshagi was broshagi as usual although I don't even know. I don't know. I don't even understand what was going on. It was just a funny game of where brilliant actors and actresses were reduced to kids that were, you know, trying to mirror a supposed movie, all in the name of what? In the name of honoring Rachel Oniga. That movie doesn't even begin to honor her. I would even rather prefer a Niger Christmas to this Chief Daddy too. Even what my reviewing. I know I'm a small time YouTuber, but it, it is not what my reviewing. I think more Abudu has to apologize to everyone with a better movie, with a good movie, with an excellent, brilliant movie that will make us forget this Chief Daddy too in a huge very fast hurry which brings me to the end of this review like i said i won't be going into it there's no need going into the synopsis because there was no synopsis at all no plot no nothing at all which brings me to the end of this short review up there you will see my korean movie reviews my chinese movie reviews my movie reviews and then my movie reviews i'll be rating this movie a five over ten 
thank you so much for doing this with me if you haven't subscribed please hit on the subscribe button turn off your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come right? thank you so much for doing this with me i'll see you next time bye